Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Missing Link. So there was lots of fun stuff for the full family to do at our screening. So we got these cute little booklets that have stickers in them, as well as different kind of just loose leaf stickers that they handed out. This adorable little dry erase board. And then my personal favorite, they had this really cute themed photo booth. And of course, y'all know I love a good chance to take some fun photos. So as for the film itself, Missing Link is the latest release from Leica Studios that follows a somewhat infamous explorer as he finds and befriends a Sasquatch. And they go on their own adventure to help reunite him with his kind. Now, I love Leica Studios. I personally have thoroughly enjoyed each and every one of their films. So of course, I was really excited to go and see their latest release. The animation always is top notch. I think the creativity levels are like off the charts for the studio as a whole. So Missing Link had me hooked pretty much just solely based on the studio. I thought the trailers were all very charming, a little bit off-putting with some of the design choices, but at large, that Leica signature seemed to be there. The charm was there. The story was there. So I was fully on board, and I have to say I loved the film. I thought it was a really, really good one. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. The animation on this movie is outstanding. While story-wise, I don't think it can touch Kubo and the Two Strings, animation-wise, I think this is at least on the same level as Kubo, and quite possibly their most beautiful, just luscious animation to date. Everything in this film was so amazing, right down to like an older character and her head shake to this movement of waves, to the beautiful invention of gravity and direction. I thought the animation movements, as well as just the style, the sceneries, everything about this animation was stunning. The one part that was animated so well that kind of astonished me is such a weird part, but they zoom in on the head, like a bald head with scars on it, and it looked so amazing. I was like, blown away at that one moment but it was obviously just indicative of the beautiful animation of the film as a whole and then we get to the voice talent and they all do such a great job hugh jackman plays our lead explorer here and he is so good what a fun spirited enthusiastic performance from hugh jackman exactly what you're hoping for from hugh at pretty much every turn and he delivers it entirely here. Zach Galifianakis gives maybe the best performance of his career as a voice actor. I thought he was so charming and sweet, so endearing. He perfectly encapsulated what the character of Susan was supposed to be. I also thought Zoe Saldana was good. She was definitely the weak link of our main three. A uh, little bit over the top, but fun for the character she was portraying. I also thought the story was well handled. It's not quite as deep as many of Laika's previous installments. However, it deals with seeking acceptance and really kind of evaluating why you seek that acceptance or who you seek acceptance from. And I do think that's a nice message to be sending pretty early on for children, for older adults, and it was really handled well here. Hugh Jackman's Sir Lionel Frost really has a good arc and I thought a well-earned arc and really nice character development throughout. Plus I thought the script was really well done. It's really a funny film. There are a couple of instances of gross out humor that I was like, oh no, a little much. Uh, this didn't really work for me. But most of the humor landed for me personally. I thought it was really funny. I thought the jokes and the writing, the back and forth banter was really sharp and really witty. And it just worked. Also, the score in this film was really fantastic. One of Laika's more memorable musical scores. It is grand, it is epic, it is completely encapsulating of what the film is, and I thought it was really effective and beautiful. 
So what doesn't work so well when it comes to missing link? Well, in comparison to something like Kubo and the Two Strings especially, the story itself is very familiar. It is a storyline that we've seen about a million times. It feels very commonplace overall when just looking at the story for children and family fair. And the villains in this story are very weak. I almost wish, honestly, we didn't have any villains here. Uh, maybe we had the council that Hugh Jackman's character is trying to win over, and they're kind of like the villainous backdrop. But I don't really think there was a need for these over-the-top, really generic, really cartoony villains that we get. They don't have a good sense of purpose. They don't have anything compelling about them and honestly anytime we went to them they were really just kind of chewing up scenery that I would have liked to have with our main three characters. And then unfortunately a lot to do with Zoe Saldana's Adelina character. She was really cool and really great in many aspects but her character also provided a lot of the weaknesses within the film one of which being this backstory between her and Lionel. It wasn't needed, honestly, to explain virtually anything, um, and more so just got in the way rather than enhancing any of our characters here. She has some great moments. I love the end to her story. I thought it was fantastic and a real nice twist and change of pace. However, that backstory really just like ugh, took away from the whole story. So overall, I think Missing Link is another really solid, strong animated film under Laika's belt. It is really funny for both smaller children up to adults. There are jokes aimed across the spectrum and many jokes that seem pretty universal. Plus, the stop motion animation is as good, if not better, than any stop motion animation I have ever seen. It is absolutely gorgeous while keeping the whimsy. And although I didn't love Susan, a.k.a. Bigfoot's design, in particular in the face with that hideous, hideous nose, the character is still so endearing and beautiful. One of my favorite characters put to film so far in 2019. So this is definitely a full price ticket for the entire family. I think everyone of all ages is going to have a great time if you just give this beautiful stop motion animated film a chance. So that is my review of Missing Link. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Missing Link? And what is your favorite stop motion animated film of all time? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.